okay guys welcome to my youtube channel today i have something very very exciting for you and trust me you are going to like what i'm going to do today in this video in, in fact don't go away watch this video if you want to know what i'm going to do in this video watch this video this video i made this video for you okay imagine look at my screen now i want to show you something very exciting on how to design something very beautiful like this so if this looks like what you have been looking for how to design this that means this video is for you so don't go away okay guys without much ado let's dive into this tutorial now the first thing you are going to do is for you to press ctrl n on the keyboard and then select your your paper size normally a a jotter a wedding jotter always comes in a5 size okay so i've selected a5 size select your a5 size and then you press ok all right this is your new document now the next thing you are going to do is for you to double click on this rectangle tool when you double click on this rectangle tool it will draw a rectangle around your design board and then next thing we are going to do now is for us to bring in all our resources these are my resources but i'm going to bring all these my resources one by one if you are in need of these resources go to the comment section and type the, the resources and i will send all these resources to your inbox okay first of all i'm going to bring this down here after bringing this down here i will right click and drag to the rectangle and then i will click or I'll click i will double click on the box on the rectangle and then i will extend this my background to fill the entire space okay now i want to blur this background so what do you do you select this background and go to bitmap when you go to bitmap you go to blur and then you select gaussian blur when you select gaussian blur you are going to adjust this till it meets your requirements so i will do a little adjustment and i will i think this is perfect for me let me use this this is okay and then after that the next thing i'm going to do is for me to draw a circle in it okay this is my circle so you have to hold your shift key if you need a perfect circle so this is my circle i have finished drawing my circle but then i'm going to double i'm going to duplicate this circle by pressing ctrl c on the keyboard you copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v you copy this circle and you paste again now this is another thing that i want to do i'm going to bring this particular background into my design now then i will power clip this background into this circle please take note and follow me step by step okay and then i will extend this background after extending that background i will close the power clip and i will remove the outline in this circle look at these points there is a there is an outline there so i don't need that outline so what do i do i come here follow my mouse from here i right click and the outline is out then i'll put a color in this other circle what color can we go with let's go with this color let's go with this color deep yellow and i'll also remove the outline for that particular circle i'll right click here on this x to remove the outline now the next thing i'm going to do i will select these two circles and I will press letter C and letter E on the keyboard. Letter C and letter E on the keyboard. Okay. And that is all. The next thing I'm going to do is for me to bring this, my beautiful couple down here. So I bring my beautiful couple down here. I know you love it already. You love this already. I trust, I trust that you love this already. So, you are going to make some adjustments. I think our circle is really inside. So, let's increase this circle a little bit. 
okay let's increase the circle a little bit and then we bring it down we bring it down wow so the next thing you are going to do is for you to bring in this let's bring in this into our design so i will simply drag this into my design look at it here i have thousands of these frames so if you are in need of this frame go to the comment section and comment frame and i will send these my thousands of graphic design frames to you for free all for free all for free so i will add a color to this let me add a color to this i'm going to use red color there let me use red color okay so i'm going to bring down this to this place okay i'm going to bring down this to this place and then i will change this color this particular color to blue color all right and then the next thing i'm going to do is for me to bring in for me to bring in this ring let me bring in this ring okay bringing in this ring now okay after bringing in this ring you adjust it you adjust it now i'm going to add a text to that portion so let me say perfect love I bring down my text to this position and I change the font. Let me go with this font. And then I will adjust this place and I will adjust this place. All right. So I'm going to use RGB black for that particular perfect love. So you can go ahead to increase this if it is not okay. Go ahead to increase this and adjust it. All right. What I'm going to do next is for me to add their names here. How do I add their names there? Simply click on the text tool and type joy. Wait. John. Okay, I'm still going to go with the same font, Galins. But this time around, I'm going to change the color of this text. So let's change the color of this text. I'll bring the text down here. First of all, let me choose white so that it will be visible for me to make some changes. Okay, then I will use deep yellow here. And then our design is ready. This is as easy as possible. This is as easy as possible. And our design is ready. I know you love this. This is simple but beautiful. Simple but beautiful. So if you have watched this video to this position, kindly like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In all my videos, I always do give away. So if you want to be part of those people that will have access to all those my giveaways that I always give out on my videos. So you have to subscribe to my channel. That is the only thing you have to do because I give those free packages to only my subscribers. If you want to know how to design a customized paperback, check out this video.